Hello, today I'm going to be talking about something that you probably knew, but you didn't know at the same time. What am I talking about? It's a party, a party hub, a thousands of millions of billions of parties all conducted within like a few square inches. What parties and billions of parties can be done in like a few square inches of space? Well, of course, it can't be humans, it can't be animals, because even the smallest animal, like a bug or an insect, you can have billions of those in a few inch. So, what am I talking about? The only option is bacteria. So, a party of bacteria is, like you imagine, a group of bacteria, or like any gathering of bacteria. We don't know what they talk about or what they do, but we do know that some bacteria are most more social than other bacteria. Kind of like humans. Some people are introverts, some people are extroverts. The same applies to bacteria and different breeds of bacteria. So where do they live in this one square inch of like billions of bacteria parties? That place, the most common place in every household is a sponge yes a sponge and not just every sponge a sponge that's used in the kitchen like a scrubbing sponge or a sponge that you use to clean the plates something like that like a kitchen sink sponge so why do so many bacteria live in your sponge first things you might think oh i wash my sponge i use water to wash it so there can't be bacteria in it but there has to be. There's thousands of little holes and it's very damp. It's like, it's impossible that every person, every time they use the sponge, they completely 100% dry it. Because that's almost impossible. How are you gonna dry something that has so many small pockets inside of it? How are you gonna completely dry that? You can't. So, bacteria need damp, cool, and food. So your damp and cool things are answered because a sponge is damp and cool. It has so many water water molecules left over from when you last washed. So where does the food come from? You might be able to guess it by now. It comes from using the sponge itself. If you wash a dish, even if you can't see any like food particles, there are food particles in that dish. And it gets stuck over in the sponge. And probably it's, it's not going to be like you can't see any food because the only reason you're scrubbing it because there is food left over on the plate. But that's besides the point. So there's so much food stuck in your sponge that you don't even notice. Some people even try to wash their sponges clean. But that's also very impossible to get every last bit of food out, especially if the food is like in super small particles inside of the small compartments inside, inside of a sponge. So there are so many spaces their food could be. It's damp, it's cold. That's a perfect place for bacteria. And not, like there is no place in your house that is 100% completely sterile, unless you disinfect the entire house. That might be an option. So inside of that sponge, there's so many bacteria. Most of them are not harmful. They're not pathogens. Not harmful, don't kill you and they probably won't be mutating into anything like that so it's safe until you realize that you used your sponge to wash a meat yes meat because what comes from raw chicken salmonella and what is salmonella a dangerous bacteria that can kill if not left if, if not unchecked so Salmonella can just visit your sponge if you use it to rub it with chicken or any other sort, sort of meat or poultry. It can just visit. And other than salmonella, there's so many other bacteria that could be there. And you just use it with the sponge. And then it lives in there. And then what turns into a party turns into a murder, murder party. Because when you next use the sponge to clean something, that bacteria is going to visit that plate and collect even more food. And it's going to probably stay on that plate and it goes into the dishwasher. And in the dishwasher, it spreads. And then when you take it out, you think it's 
cool and washed and dry and stuff and then you eat off of that plate and then it goes into your body and then you know what happened next you get sick so that's why you shouldn't really use a sponge to clean meat juices because that's just inviting like all of these bad bacteria and it's also generally a good habit to wash your sponge like thoroughly and dry it because bacteria won't be able to live in it if it's not like wet and it's impossible to like 100% completely dry dry it, but do the best you can. And even with no meats, like veggies and like everything other than meat, if you use your sponge to scrub that, you should still wash it pretty thoroughly. You're just giving bacteria food. Even though it's not bad bacteria, you never know. So that's why your sponges are one of the most common breeding areas for thousands of billions of bacteria. So next time, wash it and dry it. The sponge is a party hub and you must crash that party and destroy it before any bad bacteria show up. Thanks for watching, bye.